Here I have four images open. You can see each in their own tab up here at the top. And I want to show you how to move images from one file as a new layer in another file. We will use the Move tool to do this. And let's say that I want to move this on as a new layer onto this. Now be aware that whatever layer is selected, whatever is moved will be placed on top of that. So with the Move tool, one thing that we can do is we can click in the middle of the image and move up to the tab that we want and then drag down and let go. However, you'll notice that where I let go is where it dropped. What if I wanted to center that? Let me undo by doing Command and Z. And let's just add one step to that. I'm going to click, hold down my mouse, drag it up to this tab. I'm still holding my mouse down. I'm still holding my mouse down as I drag into the image. And now I add the Shift key to that combination and drop. And that will center the image right on the other one. Now this layer is selected. Let's say I want to move this layer and do the same thing. Again, I grab the image with the Move tool. I drag it up. I'm holding down the mouse key. I'm dragging back down. I'll hold my Shift key down and let go. And now that one has become the top layer. What happens, though, when one layer is just a little bit smaller than another one. So let's go image size and we'll change this to 50%. So now it's twice as small. Let's say I want to move this one on top of that one. So I grab my move tool, I drag, I'm holding down, I hit and you'll notice that the only part of the image we're seeing is the size of this image on the background layer. How can I take and, and see what's going beyond the edge? The easy way to do that is the free transform command. So if you do edit free transform, or if you hold down Command and T, Control T on a PC, then you can see that if perhaps you do that and you're not seeing the outside bounding box, hold Command or Control Zero to make it fit in the screen. Then you can hold your Shift and your Option key or your Shift and your Alt key on a PC and you can resize that image so that it exactly fits into the one below it. Let's show an alternate way of doing the same thing we did in the last video. So here we have the same four images as separate files. And we can move layers onto other files as, as layers by going into the View menu. Actually, I'm sorry, the Windows menu and Arrange, and then we can tile them. So here's all four images. And whichever image is targeted, you'll see its layer over here. So when I click on that, you'll see that this is the targeted layer because its tab is brighter in color than the others. Now that's the targeted layer and so forth. And so with our Move tool, once again, I can drag an image onto another uh, file. And again, if I want to have it centered, I hold the Shift key at that point, and then I drop. And so now we have those files uh, together. I'm going to delete that layer and go back and, and show you that we can also drag the layer in the Layers panel itself. I can grab it anywhere in the blue, drag it over onto another window. You'll see how the targeted window has a little square around it. Again, hold the Shift key down and drop, and that lets it center on that particular one. So now you'll see this 
This particular file has two layers, so I can come in and just very quickly add layers to this image. Now we have four layers there. So now I have my four layers here. One, the original one, is a background layer. And so I can play around with that one too. I'm going to drag its lock down to the trash can in the layers panel. And now they're all standard pixel based layers. I'm going to transform them all by selecting all of the layers. I'm holding my shift key down while I clicked on the top one there and then I'm going to go command T and I think I will reduce these layers down to about 25 percent there we go and I'll click the check mark so with my move tool I can click on each layer and and move it around. Now you'll notice that as I move a layer around I have these smart guides that are trying to tell me when edges line up or centers line up. If I get like this uh, it'll even tell me that I've put a half an inch in between each one of those and kind of snap it into place. But I, I kind of want to show you what what we can do with this. If I have the move tool selected and I have more than one layer selected, these options become available to me. These are the distribute and align options. So for example, I can come in and say distribute these on their vertical centers. Or we can say distribute along their left edges. Um, we can align their vertical centers. And so you can pop these into, into place very easily. So for example, if I had this one and I placed it just right about there and then I took the, the last one and lined it up, with the edge. We do the same with this. And then I selected all four and said um, align their vertical centers. And then we can distribute along their horizontal centers. It will exactly line them up for me. So that's a very powerful feature as well. Once you're in the Move tool, you can also nudge things into place with the arrow keys. Up arrow, down arrow, left arrow, right arrow. And that moves it one pixel at a time. If you hold your Shift key down and you use your arrow keys, it's moving it 10 pixels at a time.